Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Control as part of our Sunday Fun Day playlist. And last time we made our way down here. We're headed towards the slide projector object of power, but we need to get through the ordinary AWE. So, let's get into it. Super. Ah, ha, ha. Right. Okay, so we need to go this way, I think, because we came from this direction last time. So, hmm. Oh, what's this? Huh, okay. Hmm. Curiosity. This game gets more and more strange as time goes on, but it's it's interesting at the same time. So, ooh, what's this? Ordinary AWA Stage 1B, Dump. Witness Testimonies. The second slide we called the meadow, but it was really just an empty lot with a bunch of weeds. There was a shack and a phone line. It smelled like flowers there. It was powerful, intoxicating. We had crazy dreams there. It must have been because of the smell. I didn't like it. Didn't like losing control. In the dreams, everything was melting, and then when we, we'd come out, Everything had melted around the projector. JF, so that's Jesse, okay. Therapy session, 2010. Neil was really into it. We found out he'd been coming there more and more on his own. Then Tom beat the secret out of Neil and found the projector. He and his goons took it. Jesse Faden, therapy session, 2010. We thought Neil had got lost inside the meadow when Tom changed the slide, but that's not what happened. Dylan Faden, interview, 2002. Extrapolated information. Unconfirmed existence of additional slide designated meadow. Hmm. Okay. Curious. Very curious. Anything else? Oh. <gasps> What's that? Up there. Something? Oh! Uh, okay. Uh, ordinary AWE Stage 4B. Town proper. Witness testimonies. We went in and met Polaris, like a star. She told us we were special. She made us special. It felt like being born or reborn, the world fading in for the first time. Familiar, but somehow different. Jesse Faden, Therapy Session 2010. Polaris told us how to turn off the projector. The dung monkeys and the not mother were coming straight at us. Dylan was crying. I turned it off and they were gone. It was over. I looked... I took all the slides and burned them, all except hand. Jesse Faden, Therapy 2010. Extrapolated information. Unconfirmed existence of paranatural entity, designation Polaris. EID 19929. Hmm. EID. Hmm. Don't know. Don't know. Entity something? All right. Let's, um, let's see it then. Let's see what they have on ordinary. Oh, okay. It's all here. Our home, our school, the woods, the dump. But, well, okay. What does it, um, what does it mean? I don't, stage four? So, stage three, stage three, this is a stage two and a stage one. Oh yeah, look, here we go, stage two, stage one. What happened at stage one? Is this like ground zero for this thing or? Hmm, I don't know. How weird, whoa, all right. Oh, I that that did scare me a little bit. Ouch. Okay. Well, unfortunately, the whole place is gonna go to hell in a handbasket. Unfortunately. Okay. 
there you go. We found the slide projector in the dump outside town. Did they recreate that too? So it's a slide Is projector that where they keep it? Power. What's this? Ooh. Ooh, okay. Ordinary AWE Stage 3, Public School. Witness testimonies. Tom and the others had gotten worse, scarier. The math teacher, Mrs Chester, tried to make them listen and... They pushed over a piano on her. Whoa. Broke her legs. Then Tom bashed her head in? Bye bye, Mrs Chester. I always liked her. I liked math. Dylan Faden interview 2002. Oh my god. That was the tipping point. It was Lord of the Flies, level bad. The grown-ups realised something was wrong. The police came and literally dragged Tom and Hugo and the others away. Tom was screaming that the not-mother would make them all go away. They enacted a curfew for every kid in ordinary. Mum and Dad were peed, asking us about the dump, about everything. I remember wanting them gone, like Tom had said. When we woke up the next morning, pretty much all the adults had just vanished. Was I responsible? Did I... I don't know. Jesse Faden, Therapy 2010. Wow. Extrapolated information. The disappearance of majority of Ordinary's population confirmed to result from slide projector related AWE. <gasps> wow. Okay. So this thing had a lot of um, a lot of moving parts. So they to speak. say when you visit your childhood home, everything feels small, like a miniature. I mean, it Not will here. Look. They got that right. I mean, we've, we've kind of trashed it a little bit. I feel a little bit bad, but, well... Never mind. We had to battle the entities, so... What's done is done. I can do no more. <sighs> this is just... It's just weird. Weird place. Weird info. Ooh. You mentioned a poem last time we talked. By Thomas Zane? Thomas yes. Zane! Beyond the shadow you settle for... There's a miracle illuminated. Hmm. I looked the poem up. Only I couldn't find any poet by that name. I did find a European filmmaker who moved here in the 60s named Thomas Sane. Hmm. What? I don't know. No matter. It suits you very well. The poem. How you see things. Maybe you wrote it yourself. I didn't. No matter. You've said a few times that you feel like there's a piece of you missing. Can we talk about that? Okay. Yeah, um, it's this. I feel an emptiness, a yearning for something that I think I lost. It's natural for you to feel that way. Your brother and your parents are dead. No, no. Dylan's not dead, and that's not even it. You're referring to the imaginary friend from your childhood? Oh, God. Polaris. She's come back. After a long time, she's calling me. In a dream I saw, she... She showed me things. Jesse, it felt more real than anything. As real as what happened in Ordinary. The industrial accident in your hometown? that you believe Polaris caused. No, it wasn't an accident. There was no industrial accident and Polaris didn't cause it. She saved me and Dylan. Jesse. No, it was a cover up. The government knows about it. There were agents there. Agents from, I don't know exactly, but they took Dylan, they, I'll find them. I won't stop looking. Polaris wants me to go to New York. There's a building there. I have to leave soon. I have to be there at a very specific time. Something, something hugely important is going to happen. Jesse, you know we can't let you go until you're well. And that begins by understanding what's real and what's imagined. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. I assume we can't just boss through this now. I don't know. I don't know. It all's very strange. Okay. Hmm. 
It sounds like Jessie was in a like institute or something. Hospital, maybe? She was not well. Well, maybe. I don't know. Okay. Ordinary supplement. Ooh. Ordinary AWE-24. Details. Details are largely based on interviews conducted with Dylan Faden. See interviews redacted and redacted for relevant information. And the obtained and the obtained therapy sessions of Jesse Faden, as well as circumstantial evidence found at the ordinary site. Note that the accounts provided by all three sources contain conflicting data. For example, Dylan Faden claims there were eight slides for the projector. Jesse Faden mentioned nine. The Bureau found one intact slide, designation 36, and the burnt remains of six others. Unfortunately, these slides are too badly damaged to be used in the projector. Jesse Faden is believed to be the individual responsible for burning the slides. Notes. Dr. Darling has ordered that the entirety of the ordinary town dump be brought to the Bureau for examination and analysis, with the hopes of finding additional slides or other altered materials. Due to the limited space in the investigation sector, this AWE will be investigated in the containment sector. Okay, hmm, well... What were they exactly hoping to find, I wonder? Ordinary dump site, turntable, transit corridor, well... All right, it's very quiet, very odd. A whole dump site though? The entire dump brought, whoa. Oh, I bet this is stinky. Oh, good Lord, all right. They moved the whole landfill here in the middle of New York and nobody saw a thing. Apparently. Pretty unbelievable. Okay, what's, 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 what's this? Dump cess cessation of work order. Okay. Federal Bureau of Control. Notice! By order of Dr. Darling, all work in the ordinary dump is to stop effective immediately. Resources will be allocated to the redacted department. Details will be forthcoming. This area will be sealed at the end of the month. Please remove all personal effects before that time. Any photographic slides, the type used in slide projectors, found in the area should be delivered to Dr. Darling immediately. Oof. Okay, so they were concerned about this. I mean, the whole dump, though. Because, hey, this place probably stinks! Should we... Do you suppose what's... Well, maybe go up here first and see what, what else is up here. The entire dump! Look at this! Oh, jeez Louise, man. Stinger butts. Oh, hello. Globe supplement. What's this? Globe supplement? Wolf Globe. AI72-PE. Background. The item was found in the penthouse suite at Redacted Toronto, belonging to David Wolf, who was in being investigated for illegally dealing in altered materials. See case 13-HQ-37. Bureau agents raided his penthouse and found numerous paranatural belongings, including redacted, redacted, and this item. Mr. Wolf was arrested. Supplemented materials article from the Toronto Daily. So why would a 36-year-old Bay Street investment trader, filthy rich, married to a model, disappear overnight? That's the question that's kept Toronto high society up at night this past week. Police say it's being looked into. Some nutjob radio in the States claims he disappeared to join the Illuminati. But it's this reporter's opinion that Mr. Wolf, bored of his job, sick of his family, left it all behind to retire in some remote beach paradise. Now he's sipping my ties while the world thinks he's dead. Oh, if only you knew the entire story, my God. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Well, well. Oh, for God's sake. Are you coming up here or oh yeah they're coming up here that's fine you come up here i'll deal with you while you're up here
champion. Keep moving, keep moving. All right, all right, all right. There we go, got rid of him. Bloody hell. Right, let's get up there. God, Woo, that took some doing. All right, let's gather up this health. All these goodies, thank you so much. Very nice. Oh, there we go. I kind of like the floaty thing. It makes life a little bit easier. Okay, is there anything else here? Any the files, folders, anything like that, I suppose. We'll have a look up there after. Okay, let's have a look in this lab. See what's in here. Up we go. Okay. Whoa. Shield strength? Yeah. What's this? Effective immediately. I'm setting up a new department. Dimensional research in the research sector. Uh, transferring the slide projector there. That's where my focus will be now. The ordinary site remains as is. We'll be back to... I, I don't know when. Did Darling th took the projector to the research sector. He dedicated a whole area to it, so he knew it was important. Dimensional research. That's where we go next. Oh god, Dylan. Oh, Dylan's creepy. Finish Tango. What? Search for the slide projector in the dimensional research. A dark place. What's what? What's that? Investigate the sector elevator. I don't know, man. 
something, something's way weird here. Way weird. I don't know, but I guess we'll um, we'll get to find out at some point, hopefully. Let's just go up and across and see if there's anything else, any other files, folders, documents, anything. Okay, Jesus. weird, isn't it? Setting up like a whole town thing? I don't know. Let's go up, Jesse. There we go. Okay. I assume we're going back to the elevator. And then... Um... Whoops. Sorry. Or could we... Actually, we could just make our lives a lot easier. Fast travel. Oh, abilities. Oh, we have five. All right. Um, levitation duration, seize duration, shield barrage, shield strength, melee. Hmm. Launch damage. We do tend to use launch quite a lot, don't we? Yes. Let's do that. And we've got three left. That cost two. Levitate. Shield. Shield strength. What's what? Launch large enemies when their health is low. Ooh, that might be a good one to have as well. Launch the big dudes. Okay. Um, and then we want to fast travel. Okay, so... That's where we are right now. Where do we need to go again? Um... Let's just have a look. Uh, personal protection. Go to parapsychology. Finish tango. Search with the slide projector. What a mess. Burn the trash. Langston's runaways. Still got to do that. Put on the record. Yep. Old friends. A dark place. Hmm. Locate the mirror in synchronicity. Where's that? Ooh, the Synchronicity Lab. Where is that? Hmm. Well, maybe we can maybe we can check out the sector oops, sector elevator, and then we can um, Panopticon research. Oh, is it there? Let's 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 do that. Okay. Um behind us. This way. Yep, through here. Okay, synchronicity. We have to find a mirror. I wonder what the mirror does. Mirror must do something. Mirror mirror on the whoa. Alright. Hello? What's this? Weird is what it is. My god, okay. Mirror testing. It's got to be in there, hasn't it? The mirror. Let's just have a little look around here. See that Polaris is, is flashing at us. Well, not flashing, but doing her thing. Look all this garbage over. What? 
Can we... No. This is a little bit weird. All right. Well, do we have to go up or that way? Let's just... Um, a little peep up here. Four. All the TVs. Oh, my God. Okay. What's, what's, what's this? Synchronicity experiment. Examination of paranatural topics. Experimentation with global synchronicity. Summary. As a test, television sets were placed in a variety of locations around the world inside rooms identically decorated. The hypothesis was that by identically altering the decor of every room and then changing the channel in every room but one, that the single differing television would spontaneously align the incoming frequency to match its synchronised counterparts. The experiment seemed like a failure until it was observed that the agents responsible for arranging and monitoring these rooms were all experiencing the same emotional turmoil as one clinically depressed member of the team, himself being located in the eastern part of Redacted. Psychological examination of the agents proved the correlation. Interestingly, the phenomena of synchronicity did occur, but not in the way we predicted. Refer to file 1-87-3452 for full report. Huh. Well, there you go. So there was synchronicity, it just wasn't with the TVs that they were messing with. Okay, is there anything else over here? Before we go and check out the mirror? Weird. Okay. Alright. Well, alright. There we go. Why'd they keep an altered item here? Yeah. There we are. Claim the control point, we might as well. Okay, so, so, what's this? This the mirror? Okay, that's the mirror. Can I, can I come out of this? Or... Okay. It's got cameras in on it at all times. Hmm, weird. What's this? Another audio recording? Okay. Oh. Debrief for Mirror Excursion 7C. Subject is Agent Hardy. Hardy spent approximately three hours in the mirror. The longest time on record. Can you describe your experience inside Agent Hardy? He's talking backwards. Agent Hardy is physically healthy. All tests have come back clean. Yet the speech issue has persisted for hours. Calm down, Agent. It could be psychosomatic, but the fact that this only occurred after returning from the mirror makes a paranatural explanation more likely. Mm. I recommend a battery of tests and a class orange quarantine. He was talking backwards. It's a mirror image. I've heard that before, you see. That's how I know. In an episode of Red Dwarf. Very good TV programme. Anyway. <clears throat> Uh, altered item examination proposal AI 60 aka the mirror summary this proposal is to finally determine the precise nature of the reflected space within the altered item is it transplanar psychologically generated or rooted within our own dimension how does the altered item know the space in its vicinity well enough to reflect it how does it reflect some materials but not others is the space a parallel reality? If so, then we need to consider that while we possess this physical end of the mirror, someone else owns the other. What purpose might they use it for? Can they walk through into our own world? What are their motives? Lastly, to what purpose does the altered item produce the reflections of individuals that enter it? Can these reflected entities leave the altered item? As with all altered items, we need to attempt to distinguish if this behavior is redacted Redacted. Refer to file 5-12-8251 for full report. Hmm. Strange. 
Very strange. What's what's this? Oh, is this like opening the these things? There's the mirror. Are we supposed to open these, do you suppose? Or maybe I don't know. This is this is weird. Oh, what's this? Mirror containment. Okay. Um, mirror containment. <clears throat> Altered item. Behavioural study. AI60 containing the reflection. Summary. AI60, the mirror, does not reflect its surroundings with perfect accuracy. The environment seen in its glass contains slight distinctions. It is unknown why the mirror does this. If there is any redacted redacted, then it's something we can't perceive. The popular theory is that the mirror has a goal in mind, that it reflects the world it wishes were real, subtly replacing our reality with its own. While certainly far-fetched, the theory is worth noting here as a warning not to underestimate the mirror. The specially designed black rock panels have been installed to prevent access from our side or the mirrors. For added security, a particular arrangement of the panels is required to open the door. Refer to file 9-15-7412 for full report. Hmm, okay. So, are we not able to get in, or... Have we got to open it in the right order? Maybe, maybe that's the... That's the trick. Huh. Well, let's have a look around. Is there anything on the... It's that symbol again. Hmm. Is it this? Hmm. I mean, I can see the mirror, but go away. And you get out. It's spying on me. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. That was a little extreme. Okay, so is it something to do with Looks these? Looks like there's a mirror in there. Yep. Very good, Jesse. You figured that one out, girl. Is it just me or is it showing that the door at the end is open? On that reflection there, so... Shutters in the image look different. Yeah, so... Ah, I see. So the ones on the... That would be a mirror image. So it would be the ones on the left. The first one is up. The second two are down. All right. So let's just do it this way. So the first one... These two are down, aren't they? Okay. Oh, God. One... Two. That's right, so the first one's up, the second one's are down. Okay, and then what about this one? On this side. Okay, so the then the two at the mirror end are up and the first one is down. Okay. So alright. Okay, okay. Is that right? Do you suppose? Maybe not. What am I missing? So, the door... is... Ref ah, so it's the one near the door that needs to be up. And the other two need to be down on the... What would that be? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Maybe, actually, maybe I did. What do these shutters do? Is it like that? Oh, there you go. Lock something up. I was close. I was close. So what's what is the deal with this thing? 
Okay. We can do something with it. Whoa. It transports you to a, the other side. Can't shoot these cameras. Okay. Wait, Explore that the reflected right. space in the mirror. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, it's it's just it's just backward speech. That's all, and everything is backwards. So is this forwards now? Ah! What? I can't understand you. You need to listen. I saw something in there. There is something inside. You need to lock down the mirror. Something inside. I wonder if our powers work differently. Oh, Why are God, you sorry. talking like that? What's wrong with you? All of you. There's something in that fucking mirror. Oh, God. Right, so we heard his side of the conversation now. So, okay. Anything? Ah, something here. What's this? Oh! Oh, God! Um. So... Would it be that? Or would it be that? Oh, there we go. So it was like the opposite of that, I think. No? That's still not right, is it? Oh, blow it. We 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 got in there. What what did it did it open this? What's this? Oh. Oh. It opened that? Well, I feel a little cheated. Never mind. Okay, let's... Um, let's head out. And see what we can see. Hello? The middle world. It's a middle world, you know? Where everything is backwards. Um... Okay, so I don't think we can go out this door, can we? Whoa. Did you see that? Someone's in there. What? Who's in there? Whoa, it's 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 me. What? Have we synced everything up somehow? Maybe? Oh god. Okay. That's a little bit weird. Alright, what's um anything up here? Or up this way. Ooh, this is a little strange. Okay. <gasps> there she is. We are, we're synchronising, I think. That's not good. No. I think we are, we're just syncing up our realities, maybe? Okay. Okay, can we go in here now? So, oh, we're supposed to bust the cells out. Oh, oh it's a, it's an evil version of me. Okay, ouch. Ooh. 
Okay, what's 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 going on? Ow, okay. a little bit weird. We're having to kind of do ourselves in. that took some doing so okay so we kind of had to get rid of the evil mirror versions of our self okay well let's go cleanse the mirror then whatever's going on here the bureau was doing with this thing yeah we made it back so can we cleanse it yep Okay. Well, it's cleansed now. Yeah. This is gone. It's dealt with. Okay, so there you go. Ooh, we get some more stuff. Perfect. And then astral constructs. Um, we have five to use. Maybe siege duration. We don't tend to use siege though. Shield barrage. Energy, health. Maybe we should unlock some more health. We do tend to use health quite a lot. Launch large objects. I wonder how large we're talking. Hmm. Fifty percent to launch damage. That might be useful too. Oh my god, this is this is difficult. Um. How much is health? Health is four. We could get that and that, couldn't we? Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. And yeah. Perfect. Right. Well, what have we got here? Astral constructs? More stuff? Shatter. Ooh. Okay. Well. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. We have cleansed the mirror. The horrible, weird mirror. <laughs> so, we will uh, continue next time. Maybe search for the slide protector in the dimensional research area. So, until next time... Be safe, be good, and look after yourselves. <laughs> <laughs>